Hello everyone, uh, welcome to The Dark Horses. I'm your host, Rich Hagen, and I'm joined at the news desk uh, by Matei, Big Z Zattle Guy, and Brian David Marshall. Matei, thanks for being with Hi, us. Rich. Great to have you, Matei, of course, part of our European coverage team. Um, and the thing is, we call it The Dark Horses. 32 teams have advanced, and we, uh, you know, we're trying to, scrambling to find out little tidbits about so many of them, because, you know, a lot of great teams are on the sidelines watching these guys battle it out, and it's just terrific to see. I want to start off, Matei, uh, with you. Uh, tell us a little bit about Team Belarus, because I know you had a chance to chat with them. Yeah, Team Belarus, for me, a big surprise package, because it's one of the teams where the captain is actually not really the captain, because the other two team members have played so many World Magic Cups before. Uh, Evgeny Zakarenko and Pavel Miadzvedetsky both played two, uh, well, this is their third and fourth World Magic Cup, respectively, and they said their captain, well, they knew him, they, it was, he was hard to find. So they, the two of them had to make sure that the team gets all the prep done in time. Yeah, and they certainly have. I mean, f fantastic job by them. Uh, they come in as uh, the overall number one seed. They've just beaten Sweden in round yeah. one, which means one out of the next two, they're in for sure. Um, so, BDM, let's talk about the other co-leaders overnight. This is Macedonia. Well, and they're still, you know, co-leaders if we were still going by Swiss, because they won this round as well. Uh, they're, 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 they're a fairly shy team. You know, and it's very funny because, like, you know, you get a lot of the teams, you're like, oh, I want to interview the captain. The whole team wants to come over. Everyone wants to get on camera. The, the, the Macedonian team is not, has not been super comfortable with the spotlight on them. Uh, you know, I've talked to Martin Nanek a couple times. He's not the team captain, but um, you know, he's talked about the passion in Macedonia for this yeah. tournament. And for four years, Martin has been trying to qualify for this tournament at the World Magic Cup qualifiers. And for four years, he reached the finals of his World wow. Magic Cup, the one World Magic Cup qualifier he could play in. And the fourth year, he finally won that finals to get here. But, uh, you know, team captain uh, Vladimir Trichevsky, you know, he, he's got four pro, he's got, he's got some pro tour experience. He, he's played on the pro tour four times. He's played in team worlds before in uh, 2003. In the old, in the old uh, world team competition, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, nine nine pro tours for, for this team. So you know, middle of the pack. You know, of the of the teams that we're going to talk about here, they're in the middle of the pack in terms of towards the top in terms of pro tour experience. So. So, Matei, I, I don't want to claim full responsibility for the emergence of uh, Icelandic magic, but it is certainly true to say that in one of my preview articles a couple of years ago, I was not overly <laughs> high on their chances. <laughs> and they took grave exception to this. And with every match win, I was given a personal tour of how they had beaten yet another team on their route to the top eight. Um, and this time around, Ina Agus Balvinson uh, is, is back. Yeah, and uh, I think the biggest advantage for uh, Iceland as a country and for their, all their teams of four is team spirit. If you go and see them at the GPs, they're all a really tight-knit group because they're, they said they only have one store in the whole country, so they all know each other. Uh, they're all buddies. And uh, they even told me that for, for this uh, tournament, they took it extra seriously. They rented a summer house, I, which I kind of laughed at because it's Iceland and the summer house, you know. <laughs> but uh, they went there and they said uh, they improved uh, so much on communication and play skill just during the three days at the summer house. So they didn't go there to chill? No, no. Yeah. They, they actually had something really interesting happen in Team Sealed yesterday, mm. by the way. They did not play any green cards, not unusual, mm -hmm. but also no black cards. Yeah, look at their look at their um, flag. They played those three <laughs> colors. And they said that it's a pro, uh, approximately how it panned out in the end. There was a lot of blue. That's yeah. awesome. Um, let's uh, move away from Iceland, move away from Europe. I want to take you, BDM, um, to one of the brightest, most colorful teams here. Yes. Uh, this is the Christopher Virula-led Guatemalan outfit. Yeah, you know, uh, outfit is a good choice no. of, of word for them. Uh, Christopher Virula, by the way, you know, 17th at Pro Tour Dragons of Tarkir. So, you know, he has, he has, a, uh, he has a nice, strong uh, Pro Tour finish. Uh, yeah, it looked, I mean, he was in content. It wasn't one of those 17th that was 51st, yeah. 34th, 17th. It was like 9th, 12th, 6th, 17th. He right. was, we, we thought he was going to be the first Guatemalan and, to make the top eight. And, of a pro and tour. That's only, he only has two pro tours that he's played in, and one of them is, you know, a, a top 25 finish. So, you know, that's pretty impressive. Only three pro tour top eights on, on the Guatemalan team. But, uh, yeah. you know, again, you know, that, that, that really... Um, 
tremendous push. You know, we talked to the Thailand team earlier, and they were talking about how you know big, the, how strong their community has been in terms of supporting them to get here. A lot of the same kind yeah. of energy coming from Guatemala Magic. I really enjoy their confidence. I talk to them, and they're like, <laughs> oh, we found out the World Magic Cup is in Barcelona, which is great. We're FC Barcelona fans. So, we, we, uh, but then we were like, well, the match is on Saturday at 4 p.m. <laughs> We we're don't want to go to the match. We're going to fight for the top eight right here. Screw the, screw the football. Uh, that's fantastic. And also, I love the fact that uh, every, everyone makes an effort to sort of do something vaguely national dress and so on. But the Guatemalans, those tops sort of get handed down from team yep. to team. <laughs> that is that is what every Guatemalan team wears now. And it's like, it's almost like the, the green jacket in golf. It's like, yeah. do I get to wear the shirt? And not, and not just the shirt, but also there's also the captain's shirt. Right, you know what I mean? The, the team captain has a special embroidery on the back of the jacket, so. Fantastic. Right, so next up we have Serbia um, with Mirdran Kitanovic and Alexa Teller of the big two, plus Milos Radulovic and Militin Kesacevic. How did I do there? Uh, oh, Seven so, out so, of 10? So, uh, six out of 10. Thanks, thanks, all right. Tell us a bit about Serbia, Matej. Uh, I think Serbia has a big advantage of having two uh, players who are spearheading the team. And Miodrak Kitanovic and Alexa Telerov, both super underrated. Unfortunately for, for Miodrak, he can't play as much magic. But the events that he plays, he finishes so well in. He has a, a great place at, uh, at the Pro Tour and Dragons of Turkey, also uh, some solid Grand Prix finishes. He's overall a very good player. I think Alexa Telerov is one of the most underrated players in Europe. And this is why exclusively for, for the coverage. We have added him to Team Eureka for oh, the next PT. Awesome. Uh, well, oh, that's well addition. deserved because he's a really, really good player. Latvia is up next. Andre Prost is the captain uh, for them out of uh, USA. Um, and uh, I, I was interested. I wasn't sure what language they would be deck building in. I thought, you know, are they all going to default to English? No, nope, absolutely not. I didn't understand a word. Um, and that's actually a really good benefit um, at the World Magic Cup, because if you if you can't be overheard um, in the language, uh, it was it was good to see that. Um, so Andre, uh, you know very well, Brian. Uh, I, I know him pretty well. Uh, you know, I, he's uh, we we talk on social media occasionally with, with his two Pro Tour top eights, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well uh, well up the list of U.S. pros. Um, that's Latvia. A couple more to bring you. Here's Malta. What a great story. Wow. Uh, this is uh, BDM. Yeah, you know, this, this is the first time Malta has a World Magic Cup team. And, you know, they, they, they got through to day two at 3-1-3 three, and three yesterday. Three draws, two unintentional, one intentional. And I just wanted to just quickly add Luke Vassallo, who's the team captain. Mm -hmm. yeah, he is here as team captain by virtue of playing in two Grand Prix. Do you, right. you know, that, that's where his pro points came from. That's what got him here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, and, and you, it's always interesting to see the different roads people take. You know, yes, a lot of people are here because they, you know, they've, they've got 70 pro points, but you can do it with, smaller, with a smaller total from some of the smaller nations. And finally, will it be a Greece-like moment from last year? His team, Scotland, they made it in in 31st place. Stephen Murray has been here forever. He's been at so many World Magic Cups and World Championships over the years. Martin Clement is a very good card player, plays lots of other card games as well. Very, very experienced. Grant has looked terrific fun, and Ray Doyle uh, completing the, the set uh, all in the kilts there. Great job. Now, those are just eight of the 32 teams. Everyone has a great story to tell. But maybe one of those eight dark horses could be champions of the World Magic Cup 2015.